Hey everybody, what's up? So recently it was my birthday and I decided to do a few buy myself a few things uh, with cash and gift cards I got. Um, with the gift cards, they were primarily in the Nintendo eShop, so I got two games I've been wanting for it, Odd World and Scott Pilgrim. I got a couple other games, like one is a cyberpunk game called Dex. And at some point when I finish Cat Quest, I'm gonna get the second one. But took a couple of, yeah, couple of models and then I get into the games. This one I got on like clearance for half off. And it is the X-Wing Fighter from Star Wars The Rise of the Skywalker. Never seen the movie, but I really liked these, so I had to get it, especially half off. You can't help it. Um, next thing we got. Tie Advance, I think this is Vader's, um, it looks like Vader is the pilot, but I've never gotten one of these, and so, well, I have one, but it's like a smaller model, and I really would need a bigger one. And now for the games, um, this is actually one that I got today for, tw well, 20 bucks, and it was on sale for, from 60 and that is Watch Dogs Legion. I still have the first two games I haven't played them. And I wanted to get the third one. It is for the Xbox X and the Xbox One. Definitely had to pick this one up. 20 bucks from 60. Can't beat it. Next up, I've uh, got Elder Scrolls 3 Marwind Game of the Year. And I know Asian Sleepy had talked about this one. And so really wanted to get it. I'm going to play it at some point. Said this Xbox One compatible. And finally got the Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection for the Switch. Um, 20 bucks, And not bad. Um, I've been wanting to play some of the games. And I'm sorry for the shakiness. I have a cat who wants to play with Laser Pointer. And I told her we're not doing this until afterwards. So I just thought to do quick pickups. There was one other thing that's not coming in the mail. It was a book, and I probably won't talk about it. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, if I do talk about it, I will. It's just the name of the book is called Papa Married a Mormon, and years and years ago, I just discussed it now. Um, there was a book series called The Great Brain. That's kind of what it was, and it was about this kid, and I'll go into further detail if I had to review the book. He has two older brothers. The middle kid is called The Brain because he's kind of conniving, he's smart, but his plans kind of backfoil on him here and there. And Papa Married a Mormon was the only one, it's like two, there are two books, one is really still expensive, um, that I couldn't get. They take place like in the settlement of Utah, and there are Mormons around. This book is supposed to talk about a uh, guy who's not Mormon marries a Mormon woman. They have kids, and it's kind of like how they juggle their lives between the two. I know there are people that don't like Mormons, and that's kind of why I'm hesitant to talk about it, uh, but I might. And for a long time, and I've looked off and on, it was really expensive. No bookstores could get their hands on it. And all of a sudden, I start seeing on eBay and Amazon a lot of them being sold. So I just picked up a used copy, about 10 bucks, really great price compared to 90 to 100 and up for a lot of these copies quite a while ago. So this is a book I've been looking for about since for 30 years, 30, 31 years. And I'm happy to get it. Been a long time in the making for me to get it. So I might review it. Uh, after I read it, I may not, like I said, because of the, the Mormonism in the book, it's hard to say. And one of my favorite jokes, actually, that's not a joke, but in Around the World in 80 Days, uh, they're flying over Utah, and they, they see this guy with all these wives, and they see a guy with one wife, and they say, well, why don't we have all these wives? He goes, one is all I can handle. But because years ago, polygamy in Utah amongst Mormons was something that was allowed primarily because there were more women than men. And over the course of time, that has changed. You still see a little bit here and there. But yeah, I'm glad I found that book and glad I got what I did. Like I said, 20 bucks ain't bad. I'm not going to say where I got it from. But 
Yeah, it's just I've seen a few people buy it, and the Watch Dogs series has kind of been interesting to me. Like I said, I got the first two. Haven't played them yet. I've just got a lot of games. I'm um, going to be watching a few movies first and then kind of talking about them. Kind of work on Cat Quest. Yeah, Odd World was on sale. What was it? 20 something bucks. Scott Pilgrim was about 12. The other game I got decked was a Cyberpunk game. It was like 2 bucks. It was on sale. So I take advantage of those. I really do. Because you have to. I know they're digital, but Scott Pilgrim is one of those ones. I've, there was like limited runs to the physical release. On sale versus higher price, you're going to go with it. All right, everybody, I'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye.